I've always wanted the opportunity to use those beautiful throne chairs that you see at baby showers, but I've never had a reason until Jamari's graduation party. So I said, this is the perfect opportunity. Time for Amazon. Let's look for throne chairs. Take a look at this price, $2,200. Are you kidding me? I'm sure I can make something very similar for less. What do you think? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if I can transform one of these old outside patio furniture chairs into an elegant throne chair that I can use at Jamari's graduation ceremony. So stick around because I'm going to show you how I made this chair for $40. Welcome to my channel. I'm the Unicorn Mom. So the cat's out the bag. Surprise! This chair is made from cardboard. I started off by gluing two pieces of cardboard together to make it more sturdy. Then I cut out the shapes that I wanted for my chair, curved the cardboard around the chair to create my fold lines, and lined the edges with duct tape to make the edges smooth. I quickly realized when I put the cardboard up against the chair, there was a gap between the back of the chair and the cardboard piece that I had created. So to make the chair more smooth from the front to the back, I had to add a back piece of cardboard on the outside of the chair and connect both of those pieces together. Now that I have all my pieces together, it's time to put together my structure. I have one of my handy dandy helpers holding my boards in place while I use simple duct tape to hold everything together. One thing about me, I'm creative, but I seriously hate the plan. So most times that means I have to redo something. And this project was nothing but a bunch of redos. I had to recut the front of the chair to account for the armrests, which was a little difficult now that I had glued the cardboard together. And I only had Miley's safety scissors from school. I have 8 million pairs of scissors, but for this project, they somehow all disappeared. I'm sure there's lots of parents that can relate to their things disappearing. Yes, I'm still assembling the structure of the chair. This project actually took me four days to complete. Between all the makeshift tools I had to use, the redos, working a full-time job, it took me a lot longer to finish than anticipated. I almost forgot to show you guys that I had to add a piece of cardboard across the top. and I had to paint the legs of the chair black. Now let's shake things up a bit. It's time to start adding the padding to the chair to give it its throne shape. These are the cushions I use for the padding. I believe they're $5, but I have so many of these packets at my house, I don't remember how much I paid for them anymore. But I get them from Walmart and they come four in a pack. I used hot glue to secure all the padding to the cardboard. Literally any hot glue will do. All of the hot glue I used for this project literally came from the dollar store. And I got eight packs for $10. Like I said, this was such a makeshift project. I couldn't find my big glue gun, so I had to use the mini one. Whatever, I'm the queen of making it work. So that's what I did. Made it work for four days with a mini glue gun. The final steps of this project were my absolute favorite because this is where the project really came to life. Adding all the fabric and all the royal elements of the chair really gave the throne chair its look. The fabric I used came from Walmart, of course, and it took about three and a half to four yards to cover the chair. I just covered the chair like we used to cover our textbooks back in the day and secured it all with hot glue from my mini hot glue gun. Thank you. 
this is the final project. All of the details are wood accents that have been spray painted gold. The posts at the top are wooden stair posts that were spray painted gold. I also lined the edges of the chair with a rope that I spray painted gold and rhinestones that I purchased from Walmart. All of the wood details I got from Home Depot and all of the other details, they all came from my favorite store, Walmart. What do you think? Best $40 I've ever spent. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.